so we, this is the code that we wrote on the first video now we are actually going to start drawing something inside our window uh, to understand better how it works so we go here in the while loop and we first draw a rectangle by name dot draw dot rect where do we want to draw it on the screen and the screen is this variable that we've defined before which color in this case I'm going to say red and then we're going to pass other four parameters and before I write it let me explain how it works let's suppose that this is the window where we're going to display our game the window has a zero point which is this one and we said that the window is 600 pixel of width so this is the point zero and this is the final point 600 this one and the height is 480 so from zero to 480 let me check one moment if it's recording okay from 0 to 480 so for each point inside of this window there is there are coordinates the x and the y width and eight and let's say that we want to draw a rectangle here we need to find this point and from this point we can draw our rectangle so in this case we are going to pass the parameter x which is this one and the y which is this one in this case if this is 600 this is around one third I can say so this is this will be 200 so let's say first one it's 200 and the y 480 let's say this can be around 140 140 then after we've defined this point we need to say the width of the rectangle in this case the width also can be 200 pixel so 200 and the height I will say 120 now we can see that the red is underlined because this is an error actually we haven't defined yet the red color so we're going to define it now red equals in this case we're going to use the RGB uh, system for the color and which stands for red green and blue and so we're going to pass the, the gradient of each color from 0 to 255 so in this case we're going to put the maximum for the red 255 0 for the green and 0 for the blue and so for the other colors if we want the green we will have 0 red 255 green and 0 blue blue 0 0 and 255 and as well you can mix different colors you can put red and blue at the same times and if you put all the colors together 
you get the white. 255, 255, 255, and the black will be 0, 0, and 0. So let's run this one. And here we get our red rectangle. So now let's draw something else, like for example a circle by game dot draw dot circle. Where do we want to draw it on the screen? Which color? Green. And now we need to define the position, the x and the y, like we we did before for the rectangle when we've defined this point. In this case, let's draw the circle somewhere around here. In this case, we're going to define the center of the circle. This one, and so after it will be something like this. In this case, I will say that the X, it's around 400, and the Y as well, let's say 400, 400, 400, 400, and then the radius of our circle. How big do we want to be the circle? So we're going to define this radius, this one. let's say 30 pixel let's show it oh it's smaller than the other one that we draw in pint but but it's you know, 50 and 60 okay now it's closer to this one And then let's draw a line by game dot draw dot line where on the screen which color we say blue and then we need to define starting position and end position. So if we want for example this line here we need to define first this point and then this point or it can be the opposite you can define first this point then this point doesn't make any difference <laughs> so in this case it's almost at the end of the window so let's say 450 the y and the x 200 like the rectangle 200 the x 450 and then the ending position no I did a mistake the x in this case is this one at this point so let's say the x 30 pixel 30 pixel 450 and then 200 and 100 and 180 I don't know ah. for uh, three 300 no 200 350. Ah. Okay, more or less. And this is all for now. Um, just be aware that the element that you draw the last would be the one that will be shown at the top. So if, for example, let's say that we want this line to be over 
our rectangle we must draw the line after the rectangle by game dot draw dot line uh, let's say five hundred and one hundred you can see now it's over the rectangle but if we copy this one and move it here before the rectangle we'll see that the rectangle is covering our line and this all for this video see you in the next video